All right, finally, I've made it to the promised land, practice field with the Tigers, Beaver Falls, Nick Nardone. We have a lot to get to, but let me just say this. Four consecutive years in the WPIL championship, eight and five. You had some bumps along the way. You knock off some top seeds, Neshanik, Keystone Oaks, and then the second seed, Washington. But five turnovers and three touchdowns went to Wash High because of it. So as you begin this practice week, Leading into that game against Steel Valley, turnovers are definitely going to be a part of the conversation, right, Coach? Yeah, they've been all season for us. We gotta gotta find a way to limit them. We're finding ways to win, but we're making it really hard on ourselves. So Buford has 116 yards rushing. Uh, would you like to be able to do a little bit more than just run the football, or is that still a top priority heading into this championship? Uh, yeah, I mean we know this time of the year teams that can run the ball in the cold weather are successful teams. Now obviously you got to keep the team honest. Uh, so we plan on it. I mean just like every other week, getting our passing game ready. Uh, for sure, but we know they run the ball, we run the ball. I think that's why these two teams are playing in the championship because they run it and they run it effectively. Listen, you got a great co coaching staff here. One happens to be former Tiger and Pitt alum. I was having a little bit of fun with the White Collins earlier. But a lot of guys, some of the other people that really have helped you along the way. Give me some names. Yeah, um, our uh, linebacker coach, Jakari Kleckley, uh, DB coach, Admir Carter, and uh, Dwight Collins, um, D line coaches, Brian Weaver. Um, PJ McBride, Donovan Jeter, we've been lucky enough to come back and help us out a little bit, and Jim Mooney, um, all do a tremendous job. And then offensively, our quarterback coach, my cousin Mike uh, Nardone, um, and then Jakari helps the running backs, Dwight, Admir, uh, work with the wide receivers, Brandon Rue helps with the wide receivers, um, and our line coaches again, uh, Coach McBride, Coach Jeter, Coach uh, Weaver, and Coach Mooney do a great job with our line. Great administration. I was hanging out with some of the men who really do the heavy lifting, the maintenance down there with them in the film room. We were just talking about the history of this school. And obviously Ryan Max a couple of years ago, it seems like a couple, but it was back in the, I think 2015 when they won the state. Beaver Falls really has struggled up and down. But when you got here, you just changed the whole mindset. In our next video, we're gonna talk about this, kind of a master class for young coaches who may be struggling and maybe take some of his ideas and help you get through those tough times. But the last thing, we gotta talk about Steel Valley. So their quarterback's out, but his brother Donald steps in, who is a running back during the regular season, but he rushes as a quarterback for 266 yards. So the Ironman can scoot as well. Just some early thoughts about this game coming up on KDK Radio, all the championship action right after me on the Big K Morning Show this week. So tell me about Steel Valley. Uh, they're very well coached and very well respected football team. I mean, there's a reason they're number one several years going into these last few seasons because they have great skill, they got a great line, they got a great coaching staff, and it's going to be a very, very difficult opponent, our best by far. Um, but we look forward to the opportunity and the challenge. One more short video with Coach Nick Nardone. Always an honor and a pleasure to be here at the campus of Beaver Falls High School. Back with more, a real brief look at what you need to know when you're a young coach trying to make it to the next level. Stay with us.